Good evening, grade eight. Uh, tonight's video is going to be on 5.8 solving ratio problems. Let's take a look at this PowerPoint they created here. Um, so 5.8 solving ratio problems. The key learnings for today, only two. You're only going to have to focus on two things. It's a short video today. Uh, the first thing I want you to realize is that equal ratios, which we've dealt with in our previous lessons, can also be written as a proportion. Big word, I know. Um, we're going to learn what a proportion is today, right? And the second key learning is that a proportion can be solved. A proportion can be solved uh, to find the value of an unknown term. So basically, today we're going to have a question where we have a, a ratio, and uh, then we're going to have to solve some unknown term in another ratio. Um, let's take a look at this. Um, oh, when two ratios are equal, this is a proportion. So that's the simple definition of what a proportion is. It's when you have two equivalent ratios. Okay, let's use all this knowledge here to solve a uh, problem. So let's look at this word problem here. In a recycle drive last week at Island Middle School, Mr. Bozik's grade 8 class collected bottles and recycled some of them. Didn't recycle all of them, just some were able to be recycled. Okay. The ratio of bottles recycled to bottles collected was 3 to 4. The next week, his class collected 24 bottles. Mr. Bozik told the students that the ratio of bottles recycled to the bottles collected is the same ratio as the week before. So how can students find how many bottles are recycled this week? Well, before we do the work, I want to highlight a few things here. Um, in this question, there's a few, it's a lot of words. Let's make it simpler. Okay, so I'm going to get my highlighter out. Um, in a recycled drive last week, down in the middle school, Mr. Bozick's grade 8 class collected bottles and recycled some of them. Keyword, some. We only recycled some of them. The ratio of, right here is our ratio, bottles recycled to bottles collected. So we're comparing recycled to collected. And that ratio was three to four. So for every three that we recycled, uh, for every four that was collected, three were recycled. The next week, they collected 24. Right? And we know that the ratio was the same. So with that knowledge, we can go and solve this problem. I'll show you, I'll show you how. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get out of here. Let's go over here to the evening. Okay, so recycled to collected, um, R to C. So recycled to collected, they recycled three bottles for every four they collected. All right, another way I can write this is three over four. I can make it fraction form. Okay, now the question was, the, the question was, All right, great. It's, so the uh, ratio was three to four. Um, the next week they collected 24 bottles. So watch what we're going to do here. I'm going to rewrite my ratio as three to four. And we know that ratio was equal. Uh, the next week they collected 24 bottles. The unknown thing is how many bottles did they actually recycle? And I don't know that for this week. So that's going to be my X. And X in algebra just represents an unknown number. Okay? So uh, we can use all this knowledge right here to figure out uh, how many bottles were recycled this week. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is using equivalent fractions or equivalent ratios. Since this equal sign's here, I need to know how can I change a 4 to a 24? Well, using our multiplication skills, I know that 4 times... 6 is equal to 24, and uh, um, I can use that knowledge now to figure out what x is up here. So if I multiply the bottom by 6, I have to do the same for the top. And I know that 3 times 6 is 18. So x is equal to 18, or the ratio the next week was 18 bottles were collected or recycled for every 24 that were collected. So 3 to 4 
is equal to 18 over 24. All right. Uh, that's as simple as it gets. Let's take a look at this question right here. Here's a ratio for you. 5 to t. t just represents an unknown. I just picked the letter t. And that's equal to the same ratio as 15 to 36. My question for you is, um, figure out what t is. What's the unknown term in that first ratio? Um, and comment on it on the Edmodo group. I know this video is pretty quick today. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll spend more time in class working through different examples. I'll show you sometimes um, when you can't multiply, it's easy enough to divide. But we've worked on all these skills leading up to this lesson. So you guys are more than capable of, of doing this. Um, have fun with it. I'll see you in class tomorrow. Uh, bye. Bye for now.